What's up, Conkers? We have a game here against uh, Hibiscus, who just dodged me, so appreciate that, man. Since I don't wait on another game, so I want to look Hibiscus up for dodging me. I hope I get him again. He just finished the game. So he's been playing all day. Maybe he just decided, uh... Here we go. Got another game against, uh, our... Friend with symbols. Our symbol friend. Maybe Hibiscus decided he didn't want to play, but, uh... We're gonna look at his profile and see if he dodged me. I think this is tough sometimes when, like, I'm not that good at the game, but, like, I am between Conqueror 2 and 3. Sometimes when I'm a Conqueror 3, like, I, these guys start dodging me. Ah, fuck. This guy's playing English. Should have played Delhi. And then. You know, I still gotta play the guys who are 17, 1800 players, right? Like, I don't get a break because I don't dodge. So I got to play the guys who are really good, and I got to lose to them. And then the guys I should be able to beat dodge me. And uh, it's frustrating, man. It can be really frustrating for me. Go, scout. We're going the other way since he's going that way. Good luck. Yeah, man, English really hard matchup as Mongol. So we'll see what we can do here. Have fun. I put my town center way up here, man. I just uh, kind of saw an opportunity with the gold to do so, and figured if he went longbow or king or whatever, I would have uh, some protected areas near this woodland and gold. Probably going to need to eventually move my town center back to the back wood line. If I'm really thinking about it, though. So we're going to try to get some sheep. Then we're going to try to age up. And uh, see what he goes. If he goes with council hall or king, if he does... King 2TC, Feudal Aggression. We'll just kind of have to see what the guy does. The King 2TC works really well against Mongols. It's quite frustrating. Uh, open that Gatorade here. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes I play Delhi. Delhi's obviously a great counter to... English, and I didn't know what this guy was playing, but I thought about playing Delhi just because it was Gorge. And, uh, man, I, I definitely should have kind of fucked myself there. See that little sheep hiding there. Yeah, I still think, you know, I, I don't really know about Silver Tree here. Just based on the position of the markets, that's going to be really tough, dude. But, um... See if we can make it work. So he sees it. He just put his scout over there. Oh, sheep. I meant to drop my sheep off. I'm going to try to get in my back area before him with the super con speed.
Wondering if he's gonna think I went Dark Age Horseman because I got the stable back here. That'd be cool if he thought that. Kinda weird, but might get a super early wheelbarrow here just based on how I did my macro this time. Yeah, he's attacking my hoo That's fine. So I need to get to his base now, and uh, I picked up one extra sheep back there and see what he's aged up with. So there's a decent amount of berries down here to my right. Berry and uh, large gold. There's an extra sheep. And uh, there is boar up top, though. So a lot of different possibilities of what I could go into here. Let's get you guys on the sheep when you finish. Yeah, and I'm interested to see if his scout follows Shadows my silver tree here. Get my two Keshiks, so he went king. See if he's going 2TC on his stone or if he's just going fast castle. It'll be, uh, it'll be important for us to know. He went 2TC, so... We might just try to go hard on this second TC. If we can get a lot of archers and Keshiks up, we make like one trader, like nothing crazy. One couple traders. And then, uh, like, let's see what kind of damage we can do with a lot of archers and see if we can just kill the second town center. Because I don't want to get in a prolonged game with this English guy. He's. I've tried that. It doesn't work well. So, yeah, I'm obviously a little late. I'm not going to get this. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking. I make a few Keshiks and I try to mass produce Archer. And based off that, like, we kind of see what we can do. I'm actually going to move this Keshik back there. He's going to castle right now, right? Like, that's the, that's the, his plan. He got his second town center up. He's got a bunch of guys on gold. So, like, let's see if we can harass a little bit. Saw some blip up here of teal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to unnecessarily lose Keshiks here. Let's take a few guys off uh, food here and really start cranking up the wood. Get a lot of archers out. And then we're going to think about attacking this second town center. Happy to continually fight like that with this king. Gonna get a blacksmith. He's got a barracks up. That's not gonna do you a lot of good. But I don't think he. I don't know if he scouted the archer or anything. Just the thing. We're gonna go straight into siege engineering here. We're trying to get literally as much wood as possible. And uh, hit this guy hard. 
So I'm gonna have to start rallying some other guys to uh, food here. So I'm actually gonna take the con and go deposit my sheep. There's not, I can't really get anything done with how he's positioned here. I'm building up a lot of archers back here. So if he goes like into knights or men at arms or something, if he hits a fast white tower, I'm in trouble, right? But uh, I mean, this is this is the definition of an all-in, right? So I'm gonna stop building traders. I built my four traders. That's what I'm gonna live off of. I'd like it if you would deploy, Mr. Ubu. And I'm literally just gonna use that to build or to buy extra the gold from the traders. Dude, deploy. So we wanna get three rams, then we can go in. So let's get our third ram here. We're using stone to double produce a lot of archers. And uh, we're gonna kick this thing off, guys. Move this to the back wood. Yeah, move that to the back wood. There it is, so I need to go in right now. After all you guys are done, you can go back there. Actually, take a bunch of them. I don't need as much wood now, right? So. Oh, he's got the white tower ready to go. So that white tower is pelting the hell out of me. Got knights up now. Nope. So actually need to pull back out of that and um I got the white tower down, but that doesn't actually do me a lot of good there. <clears throat> so, I need to rush to, uh... If I had been paying attention and doing a better job of scouting, I wouldn't have let that white tower get up. And we just want to see if he's going to rebuild it right now. I know he's got knights, so I'm trying to get a couple spearmen up. Let's just keep this one guy out here to see if he uh, starts rebuilding it. And we're trying to get a lot of food here. And we're going to have to get up to castle ourselves. If he starts raiding, that's probably our, our scariest moment when he starts raiding effectively with a bunch of knights. Yeah, I was curious to see how much gold he had. It's not on the deer. I can tell that by just looking at the deer themselves. Yeah, I need my con back, so he's probably going to do some raiding. Raiding would be a great idea for him right now. So he's rebuilding it. So we're going to want to go in before he gets this rebuilt. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, he might just have us here. It's not, uh... Not gonna be super good. Gonna go ahead and ram this down. I think his big mistake here was going knights. Uh, I have nothing to counter men at arms, but I do have spearmen, and I will counter knights with those. So if he starts going men at arms, I'm probably in trouble. If I can get these two more rams up, I can bring the second town center down. Uh, he needs to probably start raiding with the knights. Actually, let me get the, the plus one ranged here. Yeah, so. Let's see what we can do against this second town center. It looks honestly it looks like he's just evacuated this. And is not not planning on trying to hold it. Wolf. I thought he I I mean he's got a, a counterattack with knights, I think, man. On my berries and shit. So I'm gonna carve him up here. Jesus, guys. Uh, I need to uh, probably... Just gonna go in here. So we're gonna start just killing villagers with the archers. That's game. I think that's first time we've beaten the. Uh... English two town center with uh, King as Mongol. So last night, the other times I've tried to like do my normal uh, trade behind aggression and age up and like kind of try to match their progression. I think a better player would be a bit faster and he'd probably beat me. But here I'm like, all right, he goes to TC. He. Goes to Castle Age. Uh, the one mistake I made was if I saw that white tower, if I was scouting better and I saw the white tower going up, I could have stopped it, I think, with the rams and the amount of military units I had. I need to watch the replay on that. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a big win. I think if I'm playing Mongol and I'm against English and they go king, two down center, I just have to go all in every time. I think that's the move. Uh, I think I actually could have scaled up the castle here. I just was, like, in the zone of I need to just keep going all in. Uh, I was collecting too much gold there at the end with my villagers. They were all here. I should have moved some to food. And, uh, I mean, pff, missed double broad axe. That was a stupid one. Uh, 
But yeah, I mean, overall, I I was like, I get three Rams, I can go in this second town center. He went into Knights, which allowed me to go into Spearman uh, and counter the Knights that he had. If he had gone mass men in arms, I mean, I, I possibly could have just made Keshiks, but those, those English men in arms are really tanky and would have cost him less food and would have produced faster. So... Uh, he could have maybe made like one or two nights and just sent him out to hit my food. Like I'm all over the map on food and have nothing back there. And then like made men in arms and shit to defend the base. Uh, but that was a pretty good game for us. That's a, that's a really tough matchup. So I think from now on, if they do that King Two Town Center, I'm, I'm focused on a few Keshiks, double produce a lot of archers, and uh, try to bring bring the heat and see if they can survive it so thanks for watching y'all and i'll catch you guys on the next one